align with the vision of the Founding Fathers. The University of Medical Sciences, UNIMED in Ondo City, has been blazing the trail on medical research, training and innovation as evidence in the giant strides recorded in about six years of its establishment. One of the men who helped shape the vision of this great citadel of learning was late Emeritus Professor Oladipo O. Akikube, the Emeritus Professor of Medicine despite his age and academic as well as professional workload at that time, accepted the offer to become the pioneer pro-chancellor and chairman of governing council from former governor of Ondo State, Dr. Olushegu Mimiko. One year after his demise, the university thought it wise to honor this icon for his contributions to medical education and practice in Nigeria by instituting in his honor an annual lecture tagged Emeritus Professor Oladipo Akikube Distinguished Lecture. Welcoming participants and guests to the maiden event, the University Vice Chancellor Professor Adesha Gufatusi said establishing an annual lecture in honor of Emeritus Professor Akikube as part of his STARS agenda for the university aimed at promoting excellence in the health profession, education, medical training, and practice. The talk of first offered to me in November 2019. When I received the letter from the search committee of this university that was starting with the responsibility of looking for individuals who had not responded to the act for the position of vice chancellor that was going to be public and there. People did not apply or who they believed that this one would serve in that position. The knowledge that Emeritus was a great was the foundation of post chancellor and share one of the grand public council of Unimed was one factor that greatly sparked my interest and in the University of Medical Sciences. As I know of its great start in the medical profession, the tertiary education system and society not only in Nigeria but globally. If Professor Oladipo Olidimiakwe has dared to put his hand to invention, it is a worthwhile version for any individual to go into, particularly the other generations. As President of the Chairman of noted in his treatment to Professor Kukwe at his demands. I quote Professor Kukwe combines self discipline, integrity, honesty, contentment, and diligence with passion for excellence in his professional activities. He could be likened to a man with Midas touch, and he undertook nothing without adorning it. End of quote. With the visionary ability of Professor Kukwe, and the energy, passion, and commitment of the remarkable and brilliant academician who served as the first master of this university. It was a pride of the world, FAS, FNMA. I was convinced that a solid foundation must have been laid for this young university, and truly that is the reality. The human community is greatly honored and blessed to have had these two great men as part of its foundation, and we are deeply grateful that was a lot of people who will ever have to serve the university. This might stay dead and all the other competition now. I was strong to the view that great men must always be honored, and particularly in their lifetime, and that men of excellence must always be celebrated to continue to foster excellence in our institution and our nation. Indeed, I've always believed, and I have to believe all this time, that excellence thrives only when it is recognized, rewarded, and celebrated. This talk, coupled by reflection on the trajectory and great legacies of Professor Kukwe, led me to specify the establishment of an annual emeritus Professor Oladipo Akubwe lecture as part of my proposed agenda for the university when I came for the interview to the Museum of Science. It is meant to be a forum for promoting excellence and innovation in their professional education, medical training, and Held on July 29, 2021 at the University Main Auditorium, the theme of the maiden edition was strengthening the health system in Nigeria through research and innovation.
The guest lecturer was Erudite University Administrator, former Vice Chancellor, University of Ibadan, and immediate past Minister of Health, Professor Isaac Adewale. The Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology stressed the need for research and policy formulation in the health system. We need to look at how do we reduce our for pocket expense. And this is where health insurance will come in. There are so many varieties, either community health insurance, the state health insurance that we have, or the social health insurance, or the ones by the state. There must be a way to do so, pulling of resources. So that when you are ill, you will not have to look for you. So we must reduce the act of pocket expenditure in Nigeria. And thirdly, is the issue of equity, the use of user, the elimination of user fees. This is one of the cardinal goals of, of, of achievements of their BA program. Where women who are pregnant and deliver, they know how to pay money. And then the incentives were also given to traditional part of terminals to refer the women to the hospital. And that led to a drastic reduction of maternal mortality ratio in those states. And this has been celebrated globally. Women should also not assume that is a replacement for funding of their care system. There are people in government who have the erroneous belief that once they self insurance, they will not have to fund it. It's a lie. Because we have a large informal sector, a large number of unemployed people. And if you really want the health insurance to work, Government must pay their premium. Everybody can be in such a when you go to a system where you have the facility, you can conduct the exercise. You can find out what will make you to see more patients. Why are our patients dying? What are the causes of death? What can we do to ensure that they bring their children for vaccination and so on and so forth? And then there should be evidence because this will lead to better planning. And uh, we also need to do a research in order to make sure that the data we are using uh, and also the evidence we are using are locally derived. Therefore, my population, there is no point importing data from Cameroon, from Togo, from Europe because they may not reflect uh, the situation in Nigeria. And we have the people. All we needed to do is get them together and provide the resources that will make them to do this. The visitor of the university and visionary governor of Ondo State, Arakuri Oluwaro Tibiakere Dolu, who was still in a celebratory mood for his election victory at the Apex Court, was represented at the event by the secretary to the state government, Princess Oladu Niodu. Akere Dolu assured that his government is committed to the dreams of the founding fathers of the institution. Professor Nadi is reputation was global, as was these contributions to medical education, research and practice. It is fitting that an University of Medical Sciences celebrates an almost emeritus professor who was the foundation chairman of the University Council with the creation of this lecture series. Clearly, health is a fundamental a critical indicator of human development and an essential factor in economic growth and prosperity. It is in this regard that our administration remains fully committed to the emergence and sustenance of a health system that has the capacity to protect human For us in almost here, making that capability accessible is a very is very key in our health policy and we have prioritized primary health care in that regard. Why are we spending the second and tertiary level health? We are committed to strengthening and developing resilience in our health system, bringing quality and affordable health care to the doorsteps those of our citizens. I know that this institution our University of Medical Sciences, which is School of Public Health, is highly committed to their agenda of strengthening and promoting family health care. I have been informed of the impressive efforts that the university is making through its Institute of Community Health Development and Innovations to 
drive an effective and sustainable model of community-based private healthcare system in this partnership with OKEGO and the digital communities. The lessons from this initiative will clearly benefit our state as a vehicle and enable us to strengthen our healthcare delivery efforts for the I am pleased that through the existing steel detector series proceed during this time with us, we will continue to have an opportunity to reflect on the life and title emeritus professor or that people and constantly draw these two lessons to improve our society. Son of the late icon delivered a goodwill message on behalf of the family. You know, he has spoken to them to the then governor of the state, Dr. Shakur and also to the Shimonia. Both being doctors were enthusiastic about education and indeed enabled it to come to fruition. The synergy two medical doctors and professors being in the right position at the right time proved very beneficial. And I thank the government for paying into this project, the University of Medical Sciences on those states. I am sure of the presence of this university in the state greatly contribute to the health status of the state and I hope the institution will enjoy the full support of the government. <coughs> on behalf of the Akinbe family, I thank you for this great honor and we know that our father felt very fulfilled by the establishment of this institution. His wife, Professor Folashade Akekube, also spared some words of appreciation. I'm so happy that the university has done this for him. I'm sure he'll be very pleased with it wherever he is in the other world. Well, he told the cut off his baby when the whole thing started. Once the Oshima way, found that the Oshima way is medical, the governor, medical, he to be medical. So that was an opportunity to have this sort of thing well established, especially as the governor has shown particular interest. I think he started with the primary health care development area and then the The governor started in a small way and then gradually he thought so the, this is the time to build everything up. So he tried to encourage the governor and the other to do something about the, uh, establishing a medical school in the in the town in the Ondo. Dr. Olusha Gumimiko, whose administration midwifed Unimed, the first university of medical sciences in Nigeria, spoke of how he got Emeritus Professor Akikube on board. When I approved Professor Akikube. The chairman of council, uh, chairman of council here, because all the thoughts into this university, we will go about it, we accomplish it, and always be proud of that thing. I don't need to show my So I went to his house in the matter. I was sitting beside his pool and where enjoying a good meal of our soup. And I said, sir. No, he not told me that he was about to retire from any, any academic, any professional, even as chancellor or chancellor of anything. As if he knew what I was going to discuss with him. But I said, look, okay, sir, I think now that we're having this university, we need somebody of refuge to be the chairman of council. And I asked him to propose names to me. Then so we proposed some names and I said, I'll go back to the state, think about this, bring up other names and I'll come back to you to 
in Google, just Google it, whichever the cancer. Two weeks after I was never there. I said, Prof, I've already got some delay. Ah, I said, that's very good. He said, but I have three. I want you to pick one from three. Ah, I said, that's great. I said, number one, we went to Google. Two, Google. Three, Google. And yes. And yes. And then he said, you, 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 this naughty boy. He went, he went to drag me out again. I said, in this matter, you have no choice. And that was why he gave the first set to be the first preacher seminar. Process of Google. I think we have said it all. He was the greatest of the generation. He was the greatest in the market that we see now. He was the greatest in the market that we see now. And somebody that was really, really ready to start in the very next to at any new opportunity. So I thank you for this lecture of honor that is given to the process of the public debate. I appreciate everything about the process of the public debate. It was committed. As a as the first uh, protein seller and the chairman of the council, he did all the best. And he was always at the talent of the human to discuss one thing of the other. High point of the event was a presentation of cheque of 1 million naira to the university by the pioneer vice chancellor, Professor Friday Okonofwa, to institute Emeritus Professor Akikube Prize for Best Students in Internal Medicine. So, Okonofwa asked me to present the cheque for establishment of an endowment prize for the best students in internal medicine in the University of Medical Science. And the first prize is because the Emeritus Professor Akik Uwe Prize for the best students in internal medicine in the University of Medical Science. They have asked me to present this check of 1 million naira as an endowment to the establishment of this prize. To authorities of Unimed, it is the dawn of a fresh chapter of honor for Emeritus Professor Oladipo Akikube, a physician who got it all to humanity.